Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using a couple of items from Honey Bee Stamps' brand new Modern Spring release. I have the popular Wooden Crate Honey Cut Die Set. I'll also be using a few of the paper scraps from their Modern Spring 6x6 paper collection. And then I'll be using an older stamp set. This is Flipping Fabulous. Some of the colors in the Modern Spring release have a very beach feel in my opinion. So I thought this would work perfectly for a summer beach card. From this stamp set, I'll be using a couple of the sentiments and also the five seashells and the little starfish. I've already gone ahead and stamped them out on some of the pattern paper scraps. I do have the coordinating honey cuts, so I'll go ahead and cut those out. One thing I love about this set, you don't have to color the images. You can use some pretty pattern paper. I've stamped out several of the shells on different pattern papers and cut them out using the coordinating dies. For the background of my card, I'm using one of the pattern paper designs in the Modern Spring release. I think this design looks like a stormy sky, which is very fitting for the beaches out here in Western Washington. I layered that pattern paper on some dark blue cardstock, put my card front onto a card base, and this is an A2 size card, five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Using another pattern paper from the Modern Spring release, it's this very light wood grain design, I cut out the wooden crate. There are two different pieces. So this first one, I'm putting liquid adhesive on the back and gluing it down. This is the back piece of the crate. It's hard to see in the video, but the front portion of the crate has this really nice embossed wooden feature. So it really does have that wood look for the crate. Now I'll be filling up the crate with the starfish and all the different shells. I'm not attaching the front of the crate yet. First, I wanna get all of those shells in place. I do hold it up just to get the placement correct. I wanna make sure you'll be able to see all of those seashells peeking out from the top of the crate. Some of the shells I'm tucking behind the others, and I'm trying to do all of this fairly quickly before the glue adheres. So inside the crate, I'll be putting six different shells, and all of those little areas where I didn't put the liquid adhesive, I can add just a small drop, that way everything will lay down flat. Now for the crate, I decided I would pop it up using some of the thin foam strips, and these are from Honey Bee Stamps. And these really are nice and thin, so they don't add a lot of dimension. I like that you can easily cut them down. Honey Bee Stamp sells them in white and also in black. For my card, I'll be using the white. So once I have a strip in all of the areas on the back side, I'll remove the release paper and line it up with that back piece. And it's really easy to line up. Now we do have some extra shells and I'll be adding those on the outside of the crate. So I'll start off with just a couple of them. I have the sand dollar and also the starfish. Glue those down directly. And for some of the other shells, I will add some of the foam dimension just on the area where it goes off of the crate. And that'll just help keep it at the same level. And I'll put liquid adhesive in the area where it touches the crate. So whoever was wandering on the beach, they really found a nice assortment of shells. Not something you see very often here in Western Washington on the beaches. Once I have all of the shells in place, I'll start working on the sentiment. I've already stamped and cut this out. I use the coordinating dies. So I have two different parts of the sentiment. Life is better at the beach. Using some of the same dark blue cardstock, I cut out a second die cut and I'm layering the sentiment with that dark blue piece, just offsetting it slightly. That way you can see just a peak of that dark blue cardstock underneath the sentiment and it really gives it a dimensional look. I'm gluing both of those down using liquid adhesive. And this is Honey Bee Stamps Precision Tip Glue. It's really nice, holds well, and I love that they have their own little glue holder. I have a habit of putting the glue in the holder without the cap while I'm working on a card. And since the glue is on the thicker side, it doesn't drip. So I haven't made a mess with it at all yet. 
To finish off the card, I'll be adding some of Honeybee Stamps Cool Pearls. Decided to go with this dark gray, sort of a smoky color. There are three different sizes of pearls on this sheet. I'll put two of them in the lower right hand corner and then the other three, I'll keep changing my mind on the placement. So I'm putting a couple of them around the sentiment. I have one on the left side of the crate. But after I move them around several different times, I do end up putting three of the pearls up around the sentiment. And I think that has a better balance. So there is my finished card. I love how this turned out. The flipping fabulous stamp set is so fun with all the different shells. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.